frequent teaching. Means very frequent and very efficient as well as regular manner, they are organizing this kind of event as a part of the center activities. And most of you will be aware that before they do not have any HRDC or Academy of College previously. Through this Ekadas Gupta Center for Planning and Development, we are getting a chance to explore ourselves as a part of this academic activities. Sometimes we may call it faculty development programs. Sometimes we may call it skill development program. Sometimes we may call it academic awareness program or skill development program like that. But whatever may be the adjective we are using, our basic intention of the center is to explore and update the academics in passage of time in compliance with the advancement of technology and more specifically the dynamic nature of the academic arena and today i have been interested to say or highlight something on ethics relating to academic publication as well as research activities. As a part of that, <coughs> today I would like to take this opportunity to show you two, three tools of research or publication related through which we can explore, enhance our quality research simply, easily, quickly, and efficient in manner. And you see, the moment we are just using the term ethics, though I am not a people having knowledge and philosophy and ethics, literature, or ethics in practical sense, because as I know, ethics as a branch of knowledge of philosophy, it has a vast area to cover up, to update knowledge and ethics by anyone. And believe me, at the very outset, I have no hesitation to admit that I do not possess any little bit not knowledge i can word on ethics but as far as this research methodology is concerned and ethics is concerned i found that ethics to me being a researcher being a scholar being an academician is nothing but but to do my own work, be it publication, be it research, be it academic activities, following, satisfying certain norms, rules, regulations, principles, as published or circulated time to time by the institute concern, country concern, government concern but beyond all of this concern what we wanted to learn or maintain throughout our academic practices is that honesty and whatever i will do or whatever i will publish that will be my own and that will be unique in nature and that will be following certain methodologies again norms rules regulations principles mandates like that the moment i will not use the moment i will not be considered as honest then there might have 
some unethical aspects and other issues. Yes, as uh, Professor Arudha noticed, may I request Sridhar Tengalkar to mute his video because it is disturbing to platform. I think he is having some sort of journey and other issues. Now, fine. Thank you. Uh, so, to have ethical or honest academician by my publication, by my academic activities, by my research activities, be it as a scholar, be it as a guide, be it as a PI, means principal project investigator, whatever we will say, that we need to follow certain things, which is in the present society noted as information literacy. Somebody may call it literacy on rules or rules literacy, media literacy, regulations literacy, mandate literacy, circular literacy, like that. Basically, the term information literacy is nothing but to keep myself updated, whatever notification mandates, regulations given by the parent institution, concerned government, concerned educational steering body, to see and to share to use and to reuse A to Z to be a conscious academician, to be an honest academician. The moment I will be honest, the moment I will be conscious, automatically my footfalls through my publication will be an ethical publication, will be an ethical contribution like that. Therefore, in a short, information literacy or technology literacy, knowledge literacy, we want to mean citizens should be conscious, keep update themselves through proper or I can say authentic information channel. Or specifically, as far as methodology is concerned, we can say authentic information sources. And here, I don't want to mean literary or traditionally sources of knowledge, what you people actually mean, that is primary source, secondary source, tertiary source. In addition to the traditional golden understanding, nowadays we are in practical research methodology saying that resources basically is of two types called living resources, non-living resources. Again, non-living resources may be of two types, printing and electronic or digital. Again, Electronic and digital resources may be of three types. One is free and open access. Another one is purchased or subscribed or license based. And another one is through resource sharing network or institutional membership. We are now able to access some resources of other institutes or other agencies. So subscribed or purchased resources, open or free access resources, and another is through consortia or institutional membership. Then taking all these sources, it's a, a kind of you know mastery that how can we collect and collect resources? Follow my words, collect and collect resources. Most of we are spending our research times to find out the resources through Google, of course. Like English language in academic arena, particularly in India. And if I say throughout the world, 
that more than 80% academic institution is administered by English language. Likewise, more than 95% academic world is guided, controlled, driven by Google as a popular search engine. I don't have any objection on that. But the matter is that from my regular practice, what I felt is that Google is a time killer, but not the authentic, accurate information provider. To retrieve a particular piece or pieces of information, we need to know how to handle Google to retrieve my target resources within a minimum time and simple way. And as a substitution of Google, there are many subject-based search engine and library has no exception on that. To discover your own target information, we are now in the field of catering of information with discovery services, which is user-friendly, which is more faceted, which is panel-oriented, through which I can just customize my search by having different filter, filtering option to reach my target resources simply and easily. If it is the basic background of us, I mean, research or teaching learning, or we can say academic activities or R&D activities, then we are living in the society where there are many explosion is going on out of it, information explosion, digital explosion, demand explosion, in addition to population explosion in India. And there are many information is loitering in the Google world or web world in mess pattern. It's our duty, being a scholar, being an academician, how to collect the target resources of literature or information from the sea of resources, from the sea of information, from the sea of literature. Otherwise, the moment I am touching the mouse in front of Google, it looks like that I am standing in a sea beach in front of a sea. So, learned colleagues, taking all these things as background, let me switch over to my some slide based presentation, and thereafter, I will bring out you in online demonstration, particularly drill with the similarity indexing software and at least one, two AI. Uh, I will try to showcase you how this AI will help us in our research and academic activities. So now just uh, let me share my screen. Google. I hope my slide is visible to you all and my voice is visible to all. To all participants, please respond. Yes, yes sir, we hear you. And my slide is visible to you all. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And you all are welcome 
to post your question in the chat box. I will take it up after my presentation is over. And also, if organizers allow, you are welcome to interact with me by using your voice. So voice and text, both side communication is open for you. And you can drop a message Whenever you found that I have a question on my on presentation of Dr. Saha, you are welcome to post a questions in the chat box. And at the end, you can also unmute yourselves one by one and to interact with me. I'll be happy to satisfy you if my capacity will allow. Otherwise, I will try to search more and more to update my knowledge and will give you answer after a while by using mail or WhatsApp or whatever it is. Now. You see, this is 33rd national level faculty development program on qualitative, on qualitative, uh, uh, on quantitative, qualitative research methodology in social sciences. And I am here in the day two, session one, with the caption of presentation and overview of ethics in SS research and publication. Here, SS is nothing but social sciences, social sciences research and publication present context okay and this is my presentation basket in introduction uh, this is very catchy slides that we people are knowing how to learn and we people are also knowing how to relearn means these two words we are accustomed much but the third one probably unlearn little bit little bit you may be our little bit new to you because you know the the load bearing capacity of the human brain is not unlimited if it is true then we need to unload our mind some old and irrelevant knowledge or ideas or thoughts or concepts or understanding to receive digest the new needful constructive positive thoughts contents knowledge understanding concepts information literature creation innovation whatever you can say so as a human being we need to know some strategy how to unlearn my bad understanding, how to un unlearn my old understanding, how to unlearn my irrelevant understanding, to oppress my mind, to gather a fresh knowledge. And as I said, that we are uh, running through information literacy world. And this information literacy world's family, there are eight specific members and if any citizen or any human being would like to be an informationally informationally literate he or she should have lively orientation bibliographic instruction users education information fluency development of information skills user training information competencies skill competencies we can also say and other concepts needed to subject concern or a specific time or a particular area and then i think most of you are aware about the research basics and research ethics but to me research basics and research ethics is basically evolved with the spelling of the research if we amplify the every letter of the research by some understanding that then probably we will understood quickly an idea what research is and how can we satisfy the research ethics by our basic understanding on research so first R stands for national rational way of thinking no need to exemplify expert and exhaustive treatment I think it's very simple to all of you. Then search for solution, E for exactness, then A for analysis with accuracy, 
or for relationship of facts and reliability and also understanding we can say and then c for critical observation careful recording constructive attitude and condensed generalization means this four c will play a majestic role in the research world and that is why to me that scholars need to know for c to four c i mean this c if any scholar if any academician able to digest and adhere and play properly or handling properly then i think he or she should be able to be an ethical academician more than 60% times only by handling this c and age is a rare glory in the current society is honesty and hard work i think you being an academician being a part of literate society you will agree with me that this honesty and hard working now in days in society in general is very rare species and you know to write up any thesis or for any research program mostly we have to have three different parts first part is called preliminaries there 12 indicative agenda you may add or less or customize with some new words but almost this is a uh, 12 or 13 points which can be the member of the preliminary family then in mid which is the heart of any academic write up or research or book material called body of the text this body of the text may require 6 7 agenda out of which introduction objective methodology literature review topic related two three chapters discussion analysis understanding whatever we can say then if it is survey based or lab based work we can use a chapter called data analysis and finally finding suggestion conclusion like that so this is a sketch or outline you can say to write up a research or thesis or an article like that and then last part but not the least having seven indicative points facets elements components that is bibliographies sample questionnaire standard public model if we used in my work then exhibition display of plates pictures pamphlets like that then field diary statement research diary nowadays we are talking about vat to me not the value added tax rather value added thesis value added research and to conduct the value added research every scholars need to maintain his or her field diary statement or a diary research diary from that diary they need to give some signaling message at the appendices maybe 5 6 7 or 20 pages what is his or her research experience during conducting the research or project so it is very very important part called field diary statement or research diary statement the research related publication and a short cv or a short about including communication of this scholar why this is simply because see if i need to contact with you as a scholar being a similar nature research scholars or for any 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 need how can i contact with you today we are living in the ict based era so physical meet and physical space cannot be the barrier of communication so everybody must have his or her you know mail id whatsapp or telegram contact number facebook twitter blog sometimes personal web url so that can be the communication media or channel through which next generation next society will be able to communicate with me if there is any confusion if there is any suggestion if there is any expert opinion so that can be retrievable distributable only through these things so this uh, preliminaries body and a to me it is called pba part of a thesis pba so this pba is basically a foundation of a value added thesis or a value added research work now components of research process you might be master than me because you all are dealing with the research and you all are already doing phd work so let me pass it out and now this is 
information literacy, media literacy, technology literacy, and to me, it is called research and publication literacy. And to be a informationally uh, research and publication literate, one needs to have UGC and his or her own university or institutes or country mandates consultation time to time. Then ethical aspects, copyright in case of printing society and digital rights management in the electronic and digital society. Then research methodology. Here, I don't want to mean some books on research methodology. There are many good books, but my methodology is we need to we need to capture some idea based on our regular experience, which might not be available in any books, which may not be figured in an article, which is only available from the living resources. And that is why you might recollect that during sources of information, I have mentioned that living resources. So this methodology means living methodologist in the research area. Then research design, hypothesis, tools and techniques in the research field, plagiarism, and you can say uh, copyright infringement or patent right like that. And finally, citation, referencing, and bibliography, which is the pre-primary basic steps of satisfying research or publication ethics, citation, referencing, and bibliography, CRB. Then, this is basically a uh, uh, literature, liter, literature part. I don't want to sp uh, spare much time on this particular area. What is ethics? What is that? Since you all are literate, I think you are better knowing about the ethics. And if you wanted to study on ethics, I think there are many good books on ethics. And of course, there are many sources or literature available in the web world. So there you can download and you can go through. But to a primary understanding, people like me, a novice person, it is nothing but to satisfy certain norms, rules, regulations, statutes, acts, mandates to work of my life. To work of my life, not only research work, I am saying work of my life because to, to be a sincere citizen, I need to be a ethical person. And not only that, ethics is highly associated with the academic and no. Ethics is a very generic concept of human civilization. To, to consider myself as a, as a sincere citizen, I need to follow certain ethics. Then this ethics is nothing but a branch of philosophy with moral problem as element, depends on culture, dynamic in nature, the principal elements honesty integrity humanity and kindness you see honesty integrity humanity kindness this is beyond explanation the every word has its own connotation has its own influence and impact too then characteristics is to me more moral than legal so if i am playing cleverly role as a educated person or literate body then it's very difficult to arrest me by legal complication, because legal is le legality is a kind of process. Before to to declare any person legally accused, there are long process we have to follow, and there are uh, long hour, long days, long month, long year we have to proceed to declare. But that is why I am saying we need to be more moral than legal. Then ethics for author. There are many. Uh, uh, ethical aspects or facets or issues concerning to the to be a author we need to know so how to be a, an author will be ethical author like that so we need to follow these uh, points then authorship ethics first one is author ethics second one authorship ethics you see here the most important point is Participation solely in acquisition of funding or collection of data does not marry authorship status. You see, participation solely in acquisition of funding or collection of data does not marry authorship status. But sometimes what we people are doing is that, 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 that the uh, collection of data, if I collect data from field and supply to the 
uh, author then to our practice that i will be the second author of the book of the article of the research of the project this may not be if i am a man who is funding somebody else to research to do something that i cannot claim that that is my research or being a funding agency i do not claim myself as an author of the things so this are this are very silly thing but creates a lot in the future the ethical misconducts we are doing ethical misconducts every now and then by having or playing games with ffp fabrication falsification and plagiarism and the moment i am using the term plagiarism let me clear it about that the similarity and the plagiarism is completely different concept and this similarity believe me to my understanding there is no software in the world to identify the plagiarism software only can do or identify the similarity of my would be publication compared to already published work may are similarity but what part of the similarity will be considered as plagiarism or to identify or to define the amount of plagiarism from the similarity human intellect intervention of human intellect is prerequisite without the subject experts rather say human subject expert it's tedious to identify whether the particular similarity will be considered as plagiarism or not so mere similarity will be identified by the system by the software uh, as i said that drill bit er job tonitin authenticate urkun there are many plus check also our grammarly then trinka then quillbot this english grammatical tools oriented software now it is considered that research oriented ai tools to figuring the plagiarism features that plagiarism does not mean the actual grammatical plagiarism mind it that plagiarism means that is mere similarity so one cannot be fatigued if they found that the software is giving me that my would be creation is having 13% 15% 20% similarity with the earlier published work and here you have to apply certain parameter whether this similarity will be considered as plagiarism or not what is that first of all in the light of the ugc 14 consecutive word is exempted from the plagiarism but that like that 14 words will be considered as similarity now if i found that there is less than 14 word similarity identified by the system or software i will immediately ignore that similarity to be considered as plagiarism then in social science particularly we need to use as a part of literature review at a part of discussion even introduction and conceptualizing the problem we need to have some earlier published paper earlier published understanding and that may be the part of my paper under literature review or somewhere else as a point that is of course no problem at all but the thing is that the moment i am using the publication of somebody else which has been published earlier then if i wanted to use the text of earlier published text in my would be publication my first duty will be to give citation for academic credit to the earlier contributor or the previous contributor the moment i am giving the citation that must be following international citation style as of now more than 11000 citation style internationally available in the academic world out of which apa 
MLA, Chicago, it's most popular and there are many more, endless, endless. So that things we need to handle properly, then citation may be given based on any international citation style, then we have to have the reference list. Reference list is not, nothing but bibliographic description of the sources, bibliographic description of the sources. And at the end of all the seven chapter of the thesis or six chapter of the thesis, we need to give all the reference plus some sources which I am may not use in my write-up properly, textured properly. That can be used in the list or bibliography. Then Im immediately after my deliberation may ask, so I said, what is the bibliography? See, bibliography is nothing but an Latin, a Latin word or Latin word, which is a combination of two different words, biblio and uh, graphic. Biblio means books and graphic means list. Soon after the advent of the printing society with the golden hands of Gutenberg, and at the dawn of the human civilization of printing era, the first printing form was book. So that is why our predecessor, with their kind concerns, they have used the term bibliography. Then at the end of the, uh, the, the uh, work, we may use the term bibliography. That does not mean at present context, only list of books. Nowadays, bibliography is an umbrella term or a symbolic term by which we wanted to mean source consulted or list of source consulted, be it print and electronic, be it textured in my, uh, you know, in my write-up or may not write-up, but somehow indirectly this uh, list is helping me as a background conceptualization to find it out. So all these things will be coming under bibliography based on any international citation style. Now, these are the and the research and publication ethics. Okay, so this research and publication ethics to satisfy research and publication ethics, one need to have citation sense, punctuality sense, scientific permission sense, honesty and objectivity sense, respecting the individual's privacy, and finally getting consent from the earlier contributed people to use my write-up. Now, tools and techniques. Research tools and techniques means a lot in the current society or current context. <clears throat> Out of which, if I start from latest to oldest, that is artificial intelligence or machine language, then reference management software, you might be heard that there are many open source reference management software called Jotero, Mindle, a note like that. Then discovery, as I said, search engine, then Grammarly, as an English checking tools or English quality writing tools, grammar checking tools, you can say. Then SDS Chilbit. SDS means similarity detection software. I am not saying PDS because Drillbit or any software, as I said, let me repeat once again, that it is not able to detect any plagiarism, rather similarity. So that is why to me it is called SDS, similarity detection software. Then OAE stands for Open Access Educational Resources. Open Access Research Resources, somebody is saying OARR. So Open Access Educational Research, uh, uh, Research Resources or Educational Resources. And then NDLI is one of the very good creating to me by government of India called one library for many users. Or I can say one library for all Indian citizens called NDLI, National Digital Library of India, which is hosted at the IIT Kharagpur as headquarters. And as you know, to, to, to calculate and to showcase the data collected from various fields by applying observation methods, by interview methods, or by questionnaire methods, or by structured method, or from any lab techniques. We need to tabulate the data and we need to represent the data and playing some mathematical calculation to reach some better understanding. And to do it, that we need to have some statistical calculative software called SPSS, social science software packages for social science calculation like that. 
and there are one more that is called statecraft and there are many urls and stats being a subject experts they are creating the many many statistical calculation methodology and which is being uploaded in the institute website like here in vishwabharati if you go through the psb that is policy kabhavan agricultural website there you will found that dr dik vijay singh dakre one of our agriculture services teacher he has uh, found out some calculation which is very open access and enclosed with the website anyone from the world is free to access and uh, using their using the things as a research tools for the quick and easy calculation now let me quickly jump up the tools and techniques there are four i am just going to uh, to figure out if time permit so let me figuring through drill bit see this drill bit is nothing but a similarity detection software given by government of india to all higher education institute of india for checking our similarity to ensure quality publication as well as to avoid any one's publication in case by one's own name and you see the the coverage of the drill bit software is 95 plus billions of web pages 5000 plus this is and dissertations repositories 125000 plus journals 13000 plus publishers 50000 plus regional language thesis millions of thesis and dissertations like this so this is the collection basket and this software has been designed by one of indian guy and this software government of india ministry of education ugc they are giving they are giving uh, this software uh, uh, as a you know um, in compliance with our ugc mandates okay so repository concept exclusion as per ugc and publishers guideline so source quoted works reference and bibliography common phrases small sources less than 14 words this has been in compliance with the ugc regulation then multi language support like including our regional language english assamese odia like that 15 regional language it has been supported so far then english and there are more foreign languages that is you can say like a vishwaruti it is italian russian french german japanese persian then uh, 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 chinese like that and support multiple formats file formats you know multiple document submission and concurrent processing detection of manipulated documents too and this software also enable to identify the ai use percentage so these are the new uh, features and you see as i said this 15 indic languages this software has been able to check that is assamese hindi odia punjabi sanskrit tamil telugu urdu sanskrit hindi kannada marathi gujarati bengali and malayalam and other language work they are doing i think uh, gradually it will come up in their calculation and this is their uh, india and abroad customers and if you ask me how to proceed to check it so let me go through the powerpoint slide then if after interaction permit then i will go by online demonstration otherwise i am just using the screenshot as the and then the powerpoint presentation okay so in the google search box you can put up drill bit then it will give in you this uh, screen and the moment you will get this screen you have to click in the get started get started the moment you will start you know, click here in the get started it will be asking you for giving your mail id and password here mail id and password the moment you will giving here mail id and password you will be allowed to go inbox okay and you will also have the features to of reset your password once you forget it then this is the inbox and at the very outset before uploading any particular paper they are giving the features to create a folder like say in india there are uh, uh, addition of number of scholars according to the category of the academics like assistant professor 4 associate professor 
uh, Professor A, and every teacher may have his or her own publication work that is research article, books. Then they might have some MRP project, major research, major research project, minor research project, or any sponsoring agency uh, project like that. So every scholars by naming of the every scholar or every word we can create a folder so to create a folder we need to click the my folder then we need to come to this blue plus signal at the bottom of the right hand corner then the moment i will click in the blue blue plus it will be asking me to have this to have this page that name of the folders then exclude reference and bibliography is reference and bibliography mind it is not the part of the plagiarism so that we can exclude then include exclude quotation so that quotation may be excluded from the similarity exclude small sources which is called less than 14 words in india then grammar check it's not possible in the grammar check because grammar check is the drill bit if we purchase then they will give it but through tender process uh, by moe this feature is not being purchased by government of India, and that's why it is not accessible to all ATIs of India as a member of Internet or through a PDS, that is Shodhi uh, plagiarism detection software. So this uh, grammar check is not possible. Exclude phrases. If I wanted to give some phrases of my own word based on the keywords and frequent use words, that may also be given over here. And at the most, we are able to give 15 maximum pages for one's particular checking then we have to also decide what particular different sources we need to compare my would-be publication that is compare against database sub submit student papers journal and publishers papers and then internet or web and institutional repositories so all these things we can mark yes and then at the bottom if we click submit then my folder will be created then my ultimate aim will be to create a files within a particular folder. So then we have to click the folder. Then after selecting this folder, we need to double click the particular folder. And the moment I will double click the folder, it will be looking like that. And at the, again, right hand bottom, there will be a blue plus symbol. So this blue plus symbol, I will have to click. The moment I will have to click over there, it will give me this small window box, regional, language new uh, non non english language and then last is english uh, english language so based on my thesis based on my language i can choose anyone regional non english or english then system will ask me to provide file so browse your file over here i have to click over here and here they have mentioned what are the different file formats this drill bit will allow there are many, you see, PDF, doc, docx, txt, and many more. And then, once I have selected files from my original destination, that may be hard drive, that may be, uh, you know, pen drive, that may be from uh, any other external hard disk, that once I select, then it will looking like that. And then at the bottom of the box, we have to give some information than author's name. Here, author's name means, the name of the scholars or the name of the contributors. Then title means title of the research thesis, title of the publication, title of the book, title of the, here title does not mean my title. And document type means what kind of document it is. If we click this drop down menu, then it will give, show me the uh, list of drop down. I mean, thesis, synopsis, dissertation, research article, ebook, uh, chapter of book, and many things it will be coming over here you will opt on the basis of your input document then i will have to click the submit button then the moment it is submitted properly it will show showing like this three blue symbol this will be a processing symbol and after the processing is over here we will be able to see the similarity indexing percentage maybe 20%, maybe 30%, maybe 40%, maybe 10%, maybe below 10%. But we have to see whether this 40% or percentage is permissible in the eye of the research regulation by the country or the institute's concern. 
is see here is 93 percent now one file there is no need to check twice or thrice but if you require to check once or thrice you can but my suggestion is better not to check one particular fly, uh, file multiple times because if you wanted to check over here and if you click then in the analysis box you will get some option from where my could be publication is having similarity with the earlier publication or understanding that will be given by the system then after going through the my expert reading if i found this cannot be noted or terminologized as plagiarism that part may be excluded from the percentage so that option is there then by inference i can say that if i am grammatically design my thesis and if system is showing 13 percent 12 percent or 15 percent similarity we have to reconcile the report along with my manuscripts and then if i think or found that this similarity is a mere similarity may not be considered as plagiarism then i may ignore the similarity source and my percentage will be come down come down come down this is actually called magnifying the similarity percentage not the manipulation because if my intention is by hook or by cook i can check to decrease the percentage that is called manipulation i mean magnification without logic is called manipulation again manipulation with proper logic and justification called magnification so magnification is welcome manipulation is not mind it then by that way you can take the report let me just quickly show you the online demonstration so that i think it will be more easier to you uh, may i have some information or response from participants do you feel any bored or monotony it's participants please sir. respond Okay, uh, let me continue. Uh, let me continue. I think my screen is visible to you. Yes, it is visible, sir. Visible. See, this is the drill bit in the Google page. I am writing drill bit. Then this is the drill bit icon. Here, get started as I have shown through my, uh, you know, uh, that uh, uh, PowerPoint slide. Then here I need to give my mail ID as my uh, user ID and password as I have. Then sign in. You see, this is my inbox. And if anyone intend to change the password, this is the password change option. Okay. So this is the inbox page. Then this is my folder. If I wanted to create one new folder, I have to create this blue plus. Then here I need to give just A K D C P D. Today is 9 1 20 24. Okay. This is the name of the file. Okay. Then exclude sources. Oh. Uh, let me edit the folder first. Yes. So this is exclude reference of the bibliography. Yes, I wanted to exclude this because this is not the part and parcel of the uh, plagiarism. Exclude quotation. Yes. Exclude small source. Yes. That is less than 14 words. Then exclude pages. As I said, maximum 15 pages you can add to exempt. Uh, from your uh, similarity and this 15 pages means which will be phased that need to the content spirit subject spirit and also some keywords you can also use over here then students paper i need to check journalism and uh, journal and publishers i can check i uh, internet or web i can check institutional repository i can check 
so all these things will be yes now edit folder so i think you all are able to visualize my uh, my my screen so akd cpd 912024 one folder has been created now i wanted to upload one paper over here so now i am you see dashboard my folder and i am in the folder akd cpd means uh, ak dasgupta center for planning and development uh, folder then i wanted to upload a paper so it is regional non english english it may be in english then you see file formats pdf doc docx txt dotx dot pptx and many more so let me and at a time i can upload document length maximum 800 pages and document size may be 100 mb if it is more than that then your file cannot be uploaded over here but it is unexpected undesired unrealistic that one file of thesis or something will be more than 100 mb or more than 100 pages so that is most unlike so now browse your files here let's say i am just taking one uh, uh, random file you see the moment i am selecting one file full text article from this here author name let's say nimai si saha title maybe central library document type what type of document this is this is dissertation article ebook synopsis assignment project work chapter in book or whatever it is let's say it's an article then i can submit you see the moment i can submit one document under akdcpd folder this is now processing is going on three blue knot is uh, i mean moving around so this is a signal of processing means i have successfully submitted one document or in another words dilbit is receiving one successful submission and now it is checking and automatically one international codification that is paper id has been given by the system and this is uh, checking is going on and after a while percentage will be showing as similarity index now let me show you that uh yeah see here we are having three different checking this is the outcome of the similarity index let me show how this will be given by the similarity detection software okay i think everybody you are able to visualize myself can anybody respond yes yes sir i guess you are able to uh, visualize my uh, screen and my voice uh, i am not since it's a google meet it's the problem of the google along with the presentation i cannot able to see your present i can yes, see sir. yeah yeah okay thank you okay 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 thank you for the response so uh, by by google meet it's not uh, possible to visualize the participants video that whether you are following me or not that's the bad sector of the google meet platform but it had it been zoom had it been uh, you know some other video you know, conferencing tools that we have anyway now you see the original paper which i am just going to publish this has been given some marking you see there are different colored here is blue this is light blue then this pink then some other colors this is orange like that now if you wanted to check what particular source is associated with this the advancement of this is a thesis submitted to south ganga you see yeah now if i click over here the thesis submitted to south ganga my cursor or my system will be throw me to the original submission to south ganga where from this text is being figured okay then after going through that text and my text if i found that this advancement of op this role in culture the use of this cannot be considered as plagiarism this is mere similarity so uh, i intend to exclude this percentage from this similarity okay now i can click over here the moment i can click one particular source or choose one particular source you see here this green button exclude is being appeared exclude is being appeared 
if I uncheck it, there is nothing is exclusion. So if I selected this to exclude, and if I click exclusion, automatically percentage is diminishing and it become five percent. Okay, you see, this is now five percent. Likewise, at the bottom, if we if I go, then you see excluded sources. This thesis submitted, and there are many in different classes. I am showing these things. That is the exclude sources. So originally machine is being arrested all these things, but gradually, if I wanted to minus it or magnifying it from the similarity index, then it will looking that these sources have been excluded. Now, if I include all the sources, then how much percentage it is? So it is 10 percent. Originally, it was 10 percent. And now at the bottom, no, nothing is exclusion percentage. You see, nothing. So by this moment, I wanted to figure before you that how one can magnifying the percentage of similarity into a plagiarism. Again, let me repeat that. Let's say I am just going to exclude first two three sources, and before to exclude. You need to go through expert reading, expert comparison, along with the original document and your would-be writing document. And then, if you confirm this cannot be considered as plagiarism, as I have given citation, or it is less than 14 words, or it is a common understanding, or it is a common formula. So everyone has the right to use. Then only you can exclude. Otherwise, you are not supposed to exclude. If any intentional or unconsciously you can magnifying or decreasing the percentage, that will be regarded as manipulation. Mind it. Say it is now showing five percent. So now let let me switch over in the next part of this checking. Now I need to have the certificate. Along with my thesis or along with the papers, I need to send a soft copy or hard copy of the certificate copy. So how can I get it? We need to simply click over here. You see, since we are living in the Vishu Bharati, it is showing Vishu Bharati name and its uh, you know uh, logo. Then certificate of plagiarism check for synopsis. If it is thesis, we will click thesis. If it is article, it will come article. If it is dissertation, we will click dissertation and certificate will come that way. Then this is the name of the contributor as I have been given earlier. Then course of study, it may be a research paper, it may be a PhD course, it may be a master's dissertation. The name of guide, who is my guide? I can write his name over here. I can delete. Then I can write N I M A I like that. I can type anything. Then department, it may be education, it may be geography, it may be economics, it may be social science, it may be law, anything. It may be marketing management, it may be tourism management, it may be tea management. Like that, that acceptable maximum limit in India and at Vishu Bharati, it is 10 percent. Till 10 percent, it is allowed. Beyond 10, it cannot be considered to allow. The acceptable maximum limit for then submitted by paper, and you see 5 percent similarity. This is the paper ID submission date, and here signature of the student means signature of the scholars, and at the bottom we can also write the name of the student so that they may. Signature small at the after taking the print out. Then signature of the guide. We can also hear name Professor D. Vatacharya. B H A T T A C H A R Y A. Okay. Then head of the department. If any university is required to sign head of the department, this this may be. Otherwise, we can delete it. You see, director of postgraduate studies. Then we can take a printout if it is ready. So printout. Then we can save it to get hard copy, save as PDF. And if we intend to take printout, hard copy, then we can select the printer option and we can take a printout and get signature. So I think everybody of you are getting some idea how to take certificate from the drill bit similarity detection software. Now let me. See how can we download the report? This is the download option called PDF download.
yes download is complete yes you see how beauty this report is author's name title id and similarity indexing also five percent and this 4.54 is from internet and this is from the quotation words reference bibliography all these things is being showing okay now exclude option quotation excluded reference bibliography excluded source less than 14 words excluded eight percent we have magnifying and then exclude phrases not a, not excluded okay then language and others and this is what actually qr code is by scanning this qr code you can get pdf report in your mobile handset okay and second page you see similarity five percent math source 11 grade a and that is the egc classification of gradation a category 0 to 10 b category 11 to 40 c category poor that is 41 to 60 d category unacceptable 61 to 100 and these are the matching sources higher from one and less than one is matching and these are excluded sources three percent three percent one percent less than one these five sources we have magnified and excluded so all these two pages is the downloaded reports synopsis and then this is the report analysis okay you see throughout your write-up this may be given up by the system so in this way we can also able to download the report okay so this is the download version download part is over now how can we send mail of this pdf if i click over here then if i type that any mail id in csa dot gmail.com then if i click over here it will be go to the mail of this uh, to get the pdf of this report so i don't want to send it so let me delete yeah and if your scholars intend to take the pdf even from here this qr code scanning this qr code you will able to get the report if anybody by sitting over there from the from your remote location if you scan this qr code you will get the pdf report of this or drill bit uh, similarity index report okay so this is and another bit is that by writing this paper ai three percent similarity is being detected by the system but one question you may ask me at the end of my deliberation that sir uh, how much ai percentage is applicable to me it will be zero and to regulation if this is remain silent i don't found any indian institute regarding ai on research how much percentage they will allow so there is no mandate on ai now we are running over or hangover in zero percentage of ai so it will be as minimum as possible but in any day i think it is will come out or any indian body will come out or any education institute will come out with some amount of percentage that if it is more than five that cannot be allowed to submit but till then let me repeat again that there is no mandate on ai percentage now once you found that this five percent report is fine and it is ready to submit for award of thesis or ready to submit to publish in any journal then i intend to i intend to deposit this write-up in the drill bit repository so you have to click this coin stack if i click this coin stack means this will deposit my papers on there in future if anybody will do similar kind of work if there is any similarity with my work then i will get positive citation or get credibility by writing these things and let me say uh, in this uh, point two minutes this is actually called zero period citation or pre-publication citation before to publish anything if anybody intend to get citation deposition of this similarity detection software is mandatory otherwise one publication from submission to publication it may take six to six months to one year maybe more than that in good journal and for thesis award too so by that zero time 
if anybody intend or steering the similar kind of work and check by using drill bit, then you will not get mileage, you will not get citation. So that is why it is called zero period citation or pre publication citation. Usually, this might be a methodology question how do you understand and what is pre publication citation? Is it possible at all? If it is, how it is? So, this kind of questions become this is actually what research methodology grammar is. So, I think with this quick and uh, you know a speedy presentation i can wrap up by these tools that how by using drill bit one fellow may upload a particular uh, one fellow how they can create a folder how they can upload a paper once the similarity index or percentage is becoming how they will be able to magnifying i am not saying manipulating how they will magnifying the percentage once the magnification is over how they get the report print out how they get the certificate print out how they get the the qr code short copy uh, from the qr code through mobile how they get mail sent out and how they will deposit their paper would be published paper in the drill uh, bit repository to get pre publication or pre awarded citation i think it's clear to you all then let me uh, jump up quickly on uh, one two to uh, you know what i say ai then i will go back once again in the powerpoint presentation part since i am in online let me show you uh, these things can i uh, uh, have any questions from participants on drill with one two questions i can take it up because i am saying and you are listening this is one way again so can i have uh, two three minutes interact on drill bit or so far i have said if any question any doubt you are free to ask me Uh, hello, sir. This is Hazel. Um, yeah. I want to ask to how to say to log in or to register in Drillbit. Do we have to associate ourselves with any university, or can we do it as an individual also? Right. Uh, thank you, madam, for your question. See. This is a license based software, not the free and open access software. So there is no question to individual login unless until you purchase the software from your individual side or pocket money. And being association with any Indian university or institution, Educational Institute of India, if your institute is a member of the internet, they are getting this software free from government of India through internet because in, in the government of India procured this software through India wide tender global tendering process. Government of India purchased on behalf of all of us and through UGC through Ministry of Education through internet we at Visuality getting this option to use it and most of the Indian universities I am knowing that they are getting it your university if you are associated with any Indian university, please contact with your university administration or librarian. I think they are aware and they will be kind enough to give you accounts or in some cases, some university, I found that the librarian or any computer science professors, they are holding the power uh, to uh, check it uh, by their own. And you being a teacher's member, you need to submit paper to him and he or she will check and give you the report from uh, their side. Okay, so this is the basic discourse of getting login and registration process. At Vishwavaruti, I am giving a report to everybody. Uh, I am giving the access account to all my faculty members. They all have their own account and they are free to check any research publication, thesis, project report, dissertation, and uh, other issues uh, in the uh, by using this Zilbit account. This is what my submission in responding to your, to your questions. I hope I will reach it. Thank you, sir. Anything? Hello, sir. Now, uh, let me sir, just sign you, out. Yeah. Uh, please. Uh, sir, I'm Shauni. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, you told about uh, some 14 words for similarity checking. What are those, sir? 14 consecutive words. Let me say that uh, in your sentence, there is a sentence where you are having 
14 more than 14 words okay now if 15 words out of this sentence or para if 15 running words having similarity then that will be noted as plagiarism if it is 14 or less then that will be exempted from the plagiarism but that is similarity that similarity cannot be considered as plagiarism 14 consecutive words if at a stage is having similarity with earlier publication that is getting exemption which will not be considered as plagiarism if it is more than 14 that is 15 onwards then that will be considered as uh, plagiarism as well as similarity okay i hope it is clear uh, yes sir that means up to 14 consecutive words in a sentence if it is similar to uh, already existing uh, published work then it is called as similarity right perfect okay sir okay, okay. now see we are living in the era of ai and many academicians they are counting their finger that how long we will sustain in the society but before saying something or showing one to uh, ai which is free to a part or to a to an extent not uh, all but there are many ai is a little bit free for our experiment for our work so two three uh, things i will show you and before going to the uh, technical uh, demonstration let me say that to my understanding and in my last slide i will also say that ai will be used as research tools this is my first line ai will be used as research tools and techniques second line is i will use ai ai will not use me i will use ai ai will not use me i will use AI in my research tools and techniques as my research tools and techniques, but AI will not use me, misguide me as a machine. Third, AI will be used in back end tools, not the front end criteria. AI will be used as back end tool, not the front end criteria. And fourth, to create any AI, some human brain is there in the back end. So my understanding without human being, AI will not run. Rather, human being will run without AI. So this, though we are slowly and gradually stepping towards robotic science society or robotic society. Okay, let's wait for that day. And once that day will come, I think human resource will be more clever and they will switch over above the robotic science because human is only create the robot robot is not create the robot so that understanding you please take it up at this point and use the the ai for your research and other uh, works let's say uh, right now let me showing you trinka t r i n k a trinka is one ai this trinka is nothing but a grammar checking software and uh, like our uh, what i said grammarly quillboard that's what the paid software but this trinka is open access english checking as well as little bit primary plagiarism or similarity detection software so this sign in you have to register at first since i have registration i am just logging See, this is the home page of the Trinka. This Trinka, if I wanted to upload a file, I can upload and I can also copy and paste my text over here. Then I can also check citation. I can also check plagiarism. I can also use this journal finder. Okay. You see, this is the journal finder. Paste abstract over here and search journal. Let's say I am typing over here that. Uh, uh, E L E M E N T A R Y elementary education and R E C E N T D C E 
C-H-N-O-L-O-G-Y. Search journal. Let us assume that I don't have any idea. Generating your recommendations, this may take some time. It will come. Elementary education and recent technology view result. Also, H index will be given over here. Then impact factor, side score, so open access only. If I mark that so open access only, then it will give me open access only. Then hide predatory journals, then predatory journals will be hide. Like that way, I can use different search filter and it will come. Back to search. Use abstract. So it asked me to give the abstract. Only if I give some abstract para, then only it will give me the journal name. We will do the magic. Choose from the top five journals. We have to give a big para so that it will come. So we have to take up some para. Okay, so because of time possibility, I'm not showing you to uh, bringing any abstract. If you have any abstract of any particular write up, or if you are just going to write up anything, if you have the projected abstract, you can paste here, then it will give you some related journal article. And then from here, as I showed, that you can uh, give some yeah, few results. Here you will get the target journal, search, geography means subject, impact factor, age index, site score, so open access only, high predatory journal, so that it will give you some sort of journal list as you desire from the search. Now, if I wanted to go back to home and to check, particularly this is, uh, I'm saying for, uh, only to check the grammar to position and grammar write-up like that, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So uh, this is the thing. Now, uh, if I wanted to uh, upload anything to check the grammar, it will give. Let's say, net is, yeah, it is here. Oh, After some, some times, it will ask you to uh, purchase the things that is refer things or get 20% off on premium annual pack like that because this is not full free, but to some extent or experimental or use one, two times, it can be free. You see, creating a file, if I wanted to create any file over here, any spelling mistakes, automatically it's a nice and very uh, handy tools to anybody else. Yes, you see. You see, file name, document type, academic journal, language, then also style guide. We can also use over here style guide, then save and proceed. If we give, that is actually search or grammar checking filter. So that set settings I can do to check a particular file. Once I save and proceed, save, then it will allow me to, you see, normal font size and text not detected because I do not give any, I didn't give any text. So that's why file is given vacant. Okay. So this is what Trinka is. Then another is, uh, yeah, it is education copilot. See, this is another called Education Copilot. This service has been suspended because of uh, because I have using this frequent and uh, in a month 
uh, I have five logins, so five logins is over since I'm not procured these things. So it cannot be allowed to me to take entry right away. Let me check another one. Size case. See, this is the thing, literature review, extract data from PDF, read with AI copilot, paraphraser, and many things we can able to do. This is literature review, copilot, read with API, uh, API, AI, citation generator, paraphraser, AI detector, and Chrome extension, and many things. So let me check my library. Yes, you see, I have many files already tested over here. Just uh, if I check. This is. See, I have just uploaded one paper randomly. Select a statement in the PDF, use copilot. You see, this is a paper. Okay. Now, if I select this particular area, then if I ask explain text, you see, this is the explanation of the text. Geography, however, many interesting questions about how religion, you know, to this. Yes. <laughs> yes, after selecting, you see summarize, explain text and related. So let me just click summarize. You see, summarization is going on and just give me within a second. This is the thing. Okay. Now, if I wanted to have translate in the Bengali, here you can also choose the language. I mean, translation. You see, summarize. See, from here, this is a Bengali. If you are not Bengali speaking, you cannot able to read, but the Bengali people, they can able to read. From here, English text, I ask system to summarize in Bengali. So in Bengali or Hindi, in uh, Odia, Tamil, whatever language I can ask, system will do. This is what actually literature review or summarization and also paraphrasing. Many, many things. This is a very, yeah. You see, if I ask machine to explain the text, so from this, text explanation will be given. You see, whatever I have chosen, explanation means given more than that. Okay. And quickly ask these questions, both the thermal. I, there is, uh, I, I don't want to read because Bengali people, uh, those who are other than Bengali, they will not get to understand. So my basic intention is to show you how this size space by using copilot within the system, giving us these things. And if I wanted to have literature review, size space literature review, results from size space, how does climate change impact biodiversity? Why are aging COVID patients like that? If I give any questions, you see. There are many papers, open access papers, it has been given. Okay, and addition to Bengali, since language Bengali has been chosen, so some Bengali uh, pronunciation or literation, uh, translation has been given in the parallel here. And if I wanted to check the PDF, climate change disrupts poor habitats of marine species, if I wanted to see the PDF file, then it will be given because these all are open access and this open access orange lock is un uh, unlocked. Okay. You see, this is very nice. Climate change impacts on biodiversity in Eric. And if I ask 
any questions by my own, automatically it will be given and open access, top tier papers, and many things. Citation generator, if I ask citation generation, it will give me a citation generation based on citation style, American citation style, a psychological style, seventh edition. Add manually, if I wanted to add manually, I can add manually. You see, journal article, book, you see, publisher's name, anything. If I wanted to ask a gener as nothing but, nothing is uploaded over here, so nothing is being given at this point. Once it is uploaded something over here, then if I ask generate, it will give him that API 7 style wise reference list or citation list will be given. If it is book chapter, I can use the book chapter. If I if it is journal article, I can use the chapter article. Automatically citation will be given. From here also, I can check the citation style that API 6th edition, API 7th edition, modern languages is the 9th edition, Bego House, Chicago manuals of style, modern languages is the 8th edition, Vancouver, Elsevier, Vancouver, and many, many more. There are more than 10,000 citation style available, but around 100 has been given by this open source AI for it. I request you humbly to have a text on it and you will get latent interest and will be master of this AI. And by that way, there are many. I am just uh, experimenting this th around 30 AI and I found that there is much interest and much, uh, you know, uh, attention required to develop and get some impetus on my future creation. So it's very nice. My reference, if I have something uh, saved over here, then my references is also there. Paraphrasing, if I ask machine to paraphrase, paraphrase also, it can be do, it can be uh, done by the system, paraphrase, you see. And length, also you can, length and variation you can change, you see, this is the length by default. I can also shorten the length. I mean, this line, you see how much word here? Around 110 words over here, okay. But here, you see, this rephrase, if I ask to rephrase, this is not acceptable to me, or I wanted to have some more suggestion. Then if I ask rephrase, it will be again rephrasing by these 97 words. Or if I, let's say, academic, you see, this suggestion given by the system, okay. And from here also, I can diminish the size. Variation also, medium and others, these three things, they are allowed, the shorten, default and expand. If I expand, it will be given more. If I given over here, then it will be asked to rephrase. And if I wanted to give new input, then new input I can give. So this is what actually this size space is doing. Then another is that, uh, chat GPT, lesson plan generator, L-E-S-S-O-N, lesson, Planner, lesson, plan, generator. See, this is a AI which is doing lesson plan generate. Auto classmate, this is another that all graduate level curriculum outcomes, lesson planning, all content areas, state standards, AI powered. And you can first register, then log in and get inertia of this very, very interested. And I found that uh, academia may use these things, particularly for school students, graduate students, master students, uh, for any particular topic. If you give inside the, uh, the lesson plan generator, it will give you some ideas, suggestion, what are the uh, components to be taught, what are the components not to be taught, what is the related area, what is the, uh, the broader area, what is the narrower area, everything will be given by this uh, software. Uh, as AI. Okay, it's very good. Then another one is, uh, I can say, PowerPoint generator, uh, that is called lesson plan. Okay, uh, let, let me go to my PowerPoint slide, where I can have much more uh, AI figure. 
so this is uh, i can also i have already completed that is drill bit drill bit this is the grammarly this is a uh, paid software grammarly is also having a free version so many uh, of you if you interested you can also register for free version and get access the grammarly for english uh, writing checking that is grammar preposition punctuation as well as a little bit of plagiarism checking they are allowing even pre version but that is not a that is some sort of you know condition that uh, your text will be this much of length not that much of length like that and biswarthi uh, uh, is uh, subscribing this grammarly and our faculty members they are getting access of it and they are ch checking these things this is very popular uh, you can say ai as well as research tools at biswarthi this is the inner page after uh, logging in uh, from here as well as trinka we can add a new file or upload then once i upload it uh, it will be given if it is fine then it will be nothing to check yet like that and the moment i am uploading any file it will ask me to uh, uh, hire file from my parent source then the like trinka this setting file file setting need to be done what is the domain what is the intent who are the audience formality then after doing these things if i click done then machine will check the papers accordingly and give me suggestions and from that suggestions i can take up uh, in the uh, check box okay then ndli what is the beauty of this ndli as i said in the introductory part that ndli is national digital library of india is one library for all indians one library for all indians all citizens of global level so one library for all that is the slogan or tagline of the government of india through ministry of education and our iit kharagpur is the headquarter of this ndli and we are having our resources included in the uh, ndli so anybody can log into uh, ndli freely and they are supposed to supposed to uh, access more than 10 crore digitized documents at length from the, the you know ndli portal that is school college technology medicine law agriculture every field some at least something you will get and every language almost all the long indic languages you will get some uh, uh, input from this and this and uh, ndli not input i can say full text there uh, uh, you will get to download freely no one will ask for money and anything and the inbox is like that here also you will be able to download video audio text maps standards many thing and this is actually the golden reservoir of indian old and rare heritage collection and bishwarthi is having more than 1000 uh, collections at the uh, at this ndli so you all are welcome to search and browse to strengthen your research and academic work this is actually searching and if you click in this uh, uh, green key then you will be allowed to download or from this link you will be allowed to download okay then this is the uh, inner page of the ndli and ai ml a little bit as i showed that artificial intelligence will be used uh, in our work in our works and you know artificial intelligence using artificial intelligence may not be blindly prescribed or recommend to use because it is not critic free it has also some criticism drawbacks disadvantage of course some advantages of there like many thing and like many thing it has also disadvantage too and how can how ai can improve teaching practices because this question papers uh, you know you can also generate question well question well there is one uh, i forgot to mention that there is one ai call question well so if any tar you put up in the question well and select the class or level of students then system will give you questions descriptive questions objective questions mcq questions one worded question yes no question true false questions any type you can choose and automatically system will give you by a finger click okay then advantage of course as i said and of course 
there are many disadvantages. And at Bishwarthi Library, we are also trying to use our chat GPT, and you will be able to uh, astonish to see what are the 10 key points I should know when studying Bishwarthi Santiniketan. If you ask me what are the 10 main points, honestly speaking, and honestly uh, admitting my disability or limitation, that I am not able to satisfy you all with giving 10 key points. But this chat GPT, they are extracting these 10 points, and which I found that is mostly most suitable answer and most fittest answer, which is sometimes uh, good or better than human being. What we can, this AI is extracting the questions, answer. So I'm just giving over you for your view. The university has a number of museums and galleries, uh, such as the Kolabhavan Museum, Rovindavan Museum, and the Tagore Museum, like that. And the answer is very pinpointedly and right and perfect. Then how to perform? This is the inner part of chat GPT or using API. What can we do like that? As I saw that copilot homepage, uh, since I have crossing my five logins, so that cannot be allowed to take login. However, if you log in, it is free to register, then you will get this as homepage, recipe builder, quiz builder, lesson planner, educational handout, PowerPoint generator, context builder, idea generator, AI freestyle, Rewards benefits, real world benefits, then project generator, writing prompts, students report. You can also generate students report. You can give the marks of the students and it will be automatically log in with the exam section. And exam session people do not fetch any data from anywhere else. It will automatically figure the format of the marks in and number will automatically be given over there. So that's the majesty and beauty of this education copilot. And let's say if you ask me, uh, today, we need to organize one squeeze in on the occasion of Teacher's Day. You simply put up the Teacher's Day, comma, India in the Education Copilot box and ask Quiz Builder. Then it will give you 10, 20 questions along with the answer. Then by applying your human expertship, you can judge whether the answer is perfect or not. Then you can proceed with the quiz. Then this is lesson planner, copilot also able to generate lesson plan. Size space, as I saw a little bit of size space, a very good uh, AI tools. Then this is slide GPT. This is a basically uh, very good for generating PowerPoint presentation. And this is their PowerPoint generation page. This rat will cycle within the, uh, within the cycle uh, during the processing. Once it is done, that will stop and it will be given a file to download. That is what the slide GPT AI is working on. Then this is lesson plan.ai. This is another good AI for generating lesson plan. This is all category AI, yes. Uh, I mean, not only for education, rather travel, pop culture, data, writing, Valentine, WhatsApp, assistant, mythology, productivity, fitness, YouTube, all, all most all the human concern items is guided by AI. A question, well, as I said, this is a very good uh, AI to generate question or to set the questions. Then this is Conquer, another good AI. Yes, this Conquer feature is that, who are you, student, educator, personal, professional? Based on your characteristics, Conquer will guide you accordingly. So this Conquer is based on the, the, the user's nature it will give the service then chat gpt you know chat gpt uh, there are uh, some other chat board there are many google board some other gpt is also there in the market and we are using chat with any pdf you can drop this is another nice uh, ai you can drop five ten pdf file or two pdf files over here and you can make a chat with that pdf file you cannot suppose you are not supposed to read all the 10 pages 20 pages of the file and if you uh, ask to chat then it will give you a synoptic para abstractive para what about saying of this particular page or of this particular paper like that a very good chat with any pdf this is trinka and this is the list as i said you see this is 13 this is consensus elicit site research grade scope chat pdf Read group paper, lateral, trinka, scholarship, Rian, Jenny, Sai Samari. In addition to the earlier homepage, this is another. So almost 30. 
this is audio video based ai for academic research activities this is actually video to text text to video audio to video this is that uh, much of facilities giving this text to video text to video text to video text to video the last course tapping in video deep brain did you this is specially to text to video text to video text to video text to video yes one questions uh, i think you can ask me that uh, let me go this slide yeah see uh, if you ask me about the implication of ai at the present context my answer will be this red line that ai oblique ml may be used as research tools to enhance the quality of r and d activities and will be kept in back end not in front end this is my first line second line is it's important to note that while ai can be available tool be a available tool it should not replace the role of a human teacher finally it is best used as complementary resource to support and enhance the teaching and learning process as for example calculator reduces human labor for computation or calculation but it does not increase or decrease someone's math thinking likewise ai will be there ai will be uh, come in the near future more and more but that will not able to replace the human uh, society human civilization and to me this google and ai these are the fast food provider these are the junk food provider as well as fast food provider and a librarian and a human teacher they are parental food or cooked food provider from this life oriented example it is clear that yes we will use google we will use technology we will use artificial intelligence machine language for our academic purpose but we need to keep in our mind that technology will not use us so far and we will not blindly cut and paste copy and paste in our light up so that it will be a matter of plagiarism and final tagline would be safe academic practices safe career safe academic practices safe institution safe your society safe your nation safe your world and win practice towards win world honest practice towards honest world like that so our basic guideline basic message will be that green practices towards green world not only for plantation of green tree towards green world but our academic world is also attacked by many corruption many adulteration to make it free we need to be green we need to be honest practice we need to maintain honest practice then our world will be honest and our you know our society our nation our institution our career will be honest and very bright then finally to take home what is research basics i said a little bit what is research ethics i can i could also uh, say and that is a very elaborate point but i am just customized myself without going to history and literature of ethics then research tools and techniques drill bit grammarly little bit of ndl and ai public ml and now my uh, presentation is open for interaction and question be it through chat box i will close my presentation and stop my presentation and go to the google uh, video conference board and try to find out the questions from chat box and take it up as well as you can also raise a voice little bit and as i guess after 4 30 we have a one more session so five six minutes or seven minutes we can continue and you are also welcome to contact with me through mail for any further query or any further assistance in course of your academic journey maybe you are from india maybe you are from nepal by virtue of technology geographic location is not now a matter in the current society rather mindset is the matter so you all are welcome to contact with me for your future journey let me hand over the board to the floor and i think dr dayamoy is there to to coordinate the next six seven minutes thank you yes sir